How come you keep looking? There's this car that's been behind us the last couple miles. So what? You keep creeping up and backing off, okay? It's weird. It's big, that car. I think this may be some of my fans from the bar, huh? Oh, great. Just relax, okay? We don't know who they are yet. Oh, Cadillac. El Dorado, 1957. Oh, man, so tough. I love that car. I love that car more than I love myself. The car's a goddamn dinosaur. <laughs> what the hell are they doing? Guess they're not fans of mine after all. And I'm guiltless at last. Adios, Cadios. Those guys are back. Oh. They sure are friendly. The hell's the deal with this clown? These guys friends of yours? Charlie, are they acting like friends of ours? You should have slammed on your brakes, taught those fuckers a lesson. It's nice language, son. What the hell are they doing? Charlie, maybe you should you should do something, being a cop and all. Dude, I'm way too tired to deal with jokers like this. Just go around him. Well, so long, Caddy. Have a nice life. They want a drag. You gonna give them what they want? With you in the car? I think I'd like to keep my license. I told you I'm off duty. If it's me, I'd kick their ass. You do what you want. Yeah, go for it.
not following, I'm losing. What does that mean? It means Wisconsin is getting too weird, and I really, really want to go home. Now, I'm just looking for a ride down the road, and I'm off duty, so I don't make any judgments, but... What the hell you boys been up to? This shit ain't coming off, man. Did it just get darker? Anybody got any breadcrumbs? What's the deal? Charlie, that road they're leaving open? Does that get us anywhere? Sure. Deeper into nowhere. And Scott, I'm off duty and I got a wife waiting. Let's go. Charlie, you're a cop. What would you do? Listen to CJ. Take that road and get us the hell home. Charlie, let me ask you a question. Shoot. Why would I want to go where they want me to? Stop to this. Slow down, man. Scott, back off. Slow down, Scott. Come on now. Oh, <laughs> 
these fucking guys. They're trying to kill us. Oh, Jesus, Scott, they're trying to kill us. Look, before we picked up Charlie, nobody was trying to run us off the road. Nobody was scratching this spooky biblical crap on the windshield. After we pick him up, it's nothing but the shit. They want you for your sins. That's right, Charlie. And you're staying here. Come on, guys, let's go. If I wanted to, I could draw my weapon and commandeer your car and be down the road in a second. And the law would be on my side. right in front of the tree. They're leading us deeper into nowhere. I'd rather be led than caught. romantic. I know what I'm doing. We'll wake the bastards out. All right. Let's go get him. puppy. Yeah, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. That's just real and it. Can we 
go now? Not yet. Now. Get out! Push! Get out! Come on! Go! Go! Robbie, come on, man! Come on. I am pushing! Over fucking heating. God damn it. Pack the radiator with snow. <laughs> Roberto, you are a goddamn marvel. From the depths of despair flies genius. Phoenix from the ashes.
Hello, back off. Ease up, Scott, come on. This me this one time. like this can turn your head around, turn your life around, change a man, like one of you boys changed me. Meet my brother, Luther. Look what you did to CJ. Don't you want to know why? There is no fucking why, Charlie, and I would give a shit if there was. You're getting awfully close, son. Luther. Tonight I went looking for my wife. And I find her at the roadhouse. Where I figure she's been hooking up with another man. But it wasn't another man, it was a boy. Janine! something to say. No, you don't. So I find my little queenie putting on her pretty little panties in the back of a sob. A burgundy sob. So before I kill somebody, I gotta make sure. Which one of you in that car took my wife? Took my life from me. She didn't name names, bless her little heart. <laughs> That's why I got in your car. I wanted to watch you boys behind a wheel. And Robbie, when I smelled my wife on your brother's jacket, well, game over. Tonight could have been a dream come true. I just got no Mr. Cream jeans here alone. Thought I'd done it too. But then Zipper Face, he goes and puts on the wrong damn jacket at the wrong damn time. So we had to use him as bait. Do us a little ice fishing. And lo and behold, we caught ourselves a couple of Minnesota dickless perch. <laughs> too small to keep. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Jesus, son. What 
the fuck did I ever do to you? You take my wife? You take my life from me? You took my life. Now I take yours. Eye for an eye. Heart for heart. Well, aren't you tough? Get back in the fucking car! I should have done this on our honeymoon. <laughs> some looser fitting clothing and um, it's so embarrassing hey Marcy, you know what who cares if kids are looking at boobs oh my gosh you're right yeah no 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 yeah. honey don't bounce don't mind. 